hey what's up guys welcome back to the channel in this simple tutorial i'm going to show you how you can easily convert a timestamp into a real date basically me personally the reason why i use this timestamp is to get this type of format on my website so four days ago you can see so in the database i have a timestamp that i convert into this format but in case you want a different format let's say you want the month the day and the year but still you don't need to create an extra column in your database you just need to play around with the same timestamp so by default this is the format of a timestamp when it's saved in the database so they get the year the month and the day plus the time but at times you don't need this time you can store this time the way you want like the same i do here so i get this separately so this is a different column in the database but for this you can easily get different formats the way you want from that timestamp so the simplest way you can do that without having that format of one hour ago two hours ago stuff like that so i have created a, a variable here timestamp and i have passed in this timestamp so i'm going to create another variable here of date and I'm going to assign it to the date function and this date function you can pass in the type of format that you want your date to be looking like so for me I want the month then space and I want the day then comma the year so this is the type of date that I want if you are to echo this out let's echo out that variable date and we preview it in the browser we are having that let me first zoom in so we are having the, the year which is January by the way happy new year today it's first so January 1st and 2020 then for us to convert this into a real date remember we have first used this date function to give us the format of the data that we want so there you can go after those double quotes put a comma and pass in this other function called string to time and what string to time does it's just a simple function that converts or that brings in a format of the unix timestamp i don't know if you but i want to leave the link in the description below where you're going to read more about this for it, for it it just returns back a unique timestamp so when we say string to time we shall pass in our variable that we created here of timestamp remember first our date function we are specifying the format of the date that we want and we are passing this timestamp into this function of string to time save this and they are going to give us the date when the post was maybe published so we are passing into this if i put here 2019 and save you will see the year will also change stuff like that so let me put it back to the original way you can see how it's very very simple so you don't need an extra width column in your database you can easily use that same timestamp and convert it to the date format that you want so probably you're not satisfied i guess so we have just uncoded this by ourselves what if you want to be getting it from the database so i'm going to first forward this video as i write this code and show you how it's done so this is going to be very very simple i'm first going to comment out this we don't need this right now so i'm going to write php that is going to communicate with the database and fetch out some timestamps let's go So 
a quick pause here i'm using this variable con because it's coming from this file that i have linked connection let's go back again and i'll fast forward <laughs> get back so right now here I'm going to ex escape this wire loop then close our PHP down here again so in between here I want to write HTML so here I'm just going to put an H5 and I'm going to echo out some PHP and it's going to be raw that's the variable that we created here and in our database, I have a field called add code date. So when you refresh here, oh, line 19, line 19, row MySQLi fetch. Select at code from blog unexpected. Oh, needs to be one there. Refresh the page. Unexpected. Oh, guys, <laughs> you forgive me. Thirty one. But guys I just needed to echo out to this so that was the problem and they give us back our timestamps so you can see we are having these simple timestamps being fetched from the database whoa so we are having this fetched from the database so what we need to do is get this simple code that we wrote there and sign it into a variable so I'm going to call it timestamp and I'm going to I'm going to assign it to this row the variable that we created here and the column in the database and here we are going to do echo the date function as we did at first we are going to specify the format of the data that we need we want the month the day then comma and the year and from this we put a comma and we pass in this other function of string to time and as we did it will take in the variable of timestamp refresh the page and we are going to be giving us our dates our date format that we need so an extra tip in case you want to put this suffix of or suffix you call it suffix of fifth second third so that s but we need to be we need it to be in superscript format so i will put this superscript tags superscript tags I see this when you refresh the page they're going to throw back some error and to do that we need to escape this brackets and the s so go on escaping the brackets sorry the greater than symbols and the s escape them and you get the exact format so guys this is how you convert a timestamp into a real date format without adding an extra column in your database guys subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next tutorial peace happy new year